just wanted to make a video on uh, DVD collecting because streaming services sometimes can be quite annoying and getting a big DVD collection is not as, and at a very cheap price, is not as hard as it seems. Uh, let's just take a look over here. So I was kind of looking at some Netflix prices and uh, I remember us cancelling our Netflix subscription probably like six months ago, something like that. But you can see some, I think that cheap $5.99 one is when you get the ads in it now, which I think was a newer thing. I wasn't sure if that was around, but I've kind of found a couple ballpark and I'm willing to bet most people would get that $16 uh, 1080p version there. And I just wanted to give the pros and cons of building a DVD collection because most people would have multiple streaming services now and you're probably looking at like $30 a month. Not that that's a lot of money, but it it's streaming, to me, streaming services are kind of irritating, but let's go over the pros here. So for DVDs, low cost, pretty easy to use, uh, no account required. So offline, don't have to worry about spotty internet, anything like that. And I would argue it's great if you're into rare shows, as we've seen by um, how streaming services just like to randomly take shows off. Either they lose the license or they're just changing it over for the month. But yes, there is cons for um, owning DVDs. First off, the uh, 480p resolution is a huge one and it's very low by today's standards. So you'd have to do something like this if you want it to look real good. I, um, I'm into CRTs here and what you're looking at is an HD tube TV and this will handle a 480p resolution amazingly. And what you see here is a PS3 playing Die Hard. And uh, yeah, great way. You can also use your PS2. I've got tons of DVD players. There's another PS3 sitting there. Uh, your PS4s work. Um, they also play Blu. -ray. They also PS3s and PS4s also play Blu-rays, which we can get into real quickly here. But yeah, the 480p. Uh, the reason that can be a problem is your flat screen will not play 480p very well because most flat screens will be either 4K or 1080p. Uh, but mo anything new you're buying, it's mostly going to be 4K. Um, and DVDs take up space, so that can be really annoying for certain people as you can see i've got a ton and i've just built these shelves that i keep them on uh, they can get scratched um i haven't really had an issue with that and then you need a dvd player but again i'm not sure if that's a con because you can pretty much get dvd players for next to nothing so we'll get into that now so where can you get dvds from for cheap well, Facebook Marketplace would be a good place to start. Um, garage sales. And I would argue just letting people know that you collect, start building a collection. You would be surprised how many people will just start giving you DVDs because they're into full out streaming. So out of my collection here, I've probably had, I'm going to guess, I think it was about 400 of these were given to me. And everything on here is DVDs, except over there. There's a couple games over there. And then right around there is my Blu-rays. I have a couple Blu-rays. But yeah, just letting people know that you collect DVDs, uh, people will just start giving them to you. And of course, thrift stores. And the great thing about these things is, like, I'm telling you, this is one's funny because I guess somebody bought that from Walmart. I believe it's all four C. It's a whole show. Yeah, complete series. Um, I paid a dollar for that. I think it even has, oh, this one too. You can even see um, right from a garage sale, a dollar for the, that whole show. I have, I forget how many seasons this show has. I have three of them though. But yeah, look, just tons of movies. And then these these ones can be good too when you're collecting DVDs. You get three movies and one, uh, one. And I would even argue for like rare shows and stuff like that or movies that are less popular as you can see some of these are here I'm sure they're on certain streaming services, but I like my bad martial arts movies and stuff like that and that stuff can be pretty rare But even this so here's CRT and you can see I own another one here and Then this guy here. I got all these for free and um 
most of my PS3s and stuff, I know they're all because retro games are getting all expensive and stuff. So like the PS3s are expensive, but I honestly, there's a couple PS3s I got for like $20. I know that they're up to like 60 and a hundred dollars now, but you can get a Blu-ray for super cheap now, like a Blu-ray player for like five or 10 bucks. Same thing, thrift store, Facebook marketplace, garage sales. And I just wanted to talk about one more quick thing here. Um, cause maybe DVD is not the route you want to go because of the low resolution. Like I said, looks fantastic on a CRT, but does not look fantastic on a flat screen. So what would your solution be then if you wanted to collect physical media? Well, here you go. Blu-ray. Um, I believe all, I don't know, maybe some Blu-ray 720. I believe it's generally 1080p, but this would be an example of a new DVD I got. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe Sonic 2 came out at the start of the year. This one I paid a little bit more for, but this is a new movie. I paid $10 for both of these, so five bucks a pop. I got this used. I couldn't believe that I found that for that price at a store. Um, I haven't really collected Blu-ray, but I'm telling you, um, if you were into that, you can find these as cheap as DVD all over the place. It's just, it's been my preference to collect for my tube TVs. So Blu-ray doesn't work because the resolution so high. Because the HD CRT that you're looking at there, uh, I believe it's, not, it's, not, it's the highest resolution CRT at around 540p it can do up to. Um, there's a couple special, um, like computer monitors and stuff for CRTs can go up to like 1080, but, uh, consumer CRTs here, uh, 480p DVDs is what we're getting. But yeah, hopefully that helps, uh, because it's pretty easy to build a DVD collection because streaming can be quite annoying. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Have a good day.